In the domestic political arena, rival parties agreed to normalize affairs, breaking a two-week deadlock. They're expected to hold plenary sessions as scheduled to vote on bills linked to improving people's livelihoods. Kim Minji has the latest from Parliament. The National Assembly is back in action after a 14-day standstill. The agreement to normalize parliamentary activities came on Monday in a meeting of the floor leaders of the three main parties and the National Assembly Speaker. The deadlock was sparked by controversy surrounding a lawmaker of the main opposition Liberty Korea Party, Kwon Song Dong, who is suspected of exerting pressure on an investigation into allegations of unfair hiring at Kangwonland, a casino and resort company. The ruling Democratic Party of Korea demanded Kwon, who is the head of Parliament's Judiciary Committee, to step down and walked out of the committee meeting two weeks ago in protest. This prompted the main opposition to call for a boycott of all committees. The ruling bloc offered an apology for the initial walkout and called for an end to the paralysis. Our members on the Judiciary Committee walked out over the issue of whether the head of the committee should leave, and as a result, the committee was crippled and the deliberation of bills was suspended. As floor leader of the ruling party, I apologize to the people. With the tension somewhat eased for now, the main opposition vowed all out efforts to improve people's lives. Our party will do our best to normalize parliament so that it can take up bills related to people's livelihoods. The floor leader of the ruling bloc apologized, so we will no longer take issue with the boycott and will cooperate to get the committee back on track. They've brushed off concerns that the February parliamentary session could end up with nothing passed, with less than 10 days left before it comes to a close. With that deadline looming, the Judiciary Committee will convene a meeting on Tuesday to deliberate on bills related to bettering people's lives and boosting public safety and have them ready for a full floor vote in the afternoon. However, there's another variable, whether rival parties will be able to make progress on crafting a proposal to amend the Constitution. The ruling party has proposed a meeting between the five main parties, saying there's not much time left if a referendum on the matter is to be held alongside local elections in June. But the main opposition is against holding both votes at the same time, saying it would politicize the constitution, and has also reiterated that it is strictly against the idea of voting on amendment proposed by the government itself, which the administration has said is an option. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.